I'm not gonna play. At this point, Big Hit will honestly sell anything. You could stick BTS's name on absolutely any product in the world and it will sell more because they're on it. They've seen this market, they've seen this potential over the last five years and said, hey, we will literally put it on every single product possible. And they've done it. Hey, no range of the comic here right now, we are gonna be talking about the boys, the lads, the guys. BTS, Bantan, Sonia and Dan, and more importantly, Big Hit, because they've done something that is relatively unprecedented. I know sometimes artists do do this type of shenanigans, but I feel this is one of those times where, hey, the fandom is actually gonna accept this and take it wholeheartedly and enjoy what's being given to them. And that is official BTS water. No, no, you didn't hear that wrong. It's completely accurate. I'm not taking the piss, BTS, <laughs> are selling water bottles only in Korea I might add it's not like they're shipping this stuff all over the world because I think there might be some quality control problems when it comes to certain food products and international trade you need to be vetted a bit more for that type of stuff but yeah big kit just selling water bottles now there are a couple of factors to this all right firstly they have specific water bottle designs for each of the members Seven members, seven designs. The confusing thing that I saw though was that the bottles actually come in 20 packs, packs of 20. And you only get 20 bottles of the specific member that you selected. Like you don't get a mix of members apparently. You just get, you want gin, you get 20 bottles of gin. Like gin liquid, gin elixir, elixir of gin. That's what you get. Um, <laughs> if that is the case, but surely it would make more sense if you had like a mixed bag and you had three of each member and the case was 21 bottles, that would make more sense. But really what they want to do is they want people to buy multiple packets of the water. That way they can shift more inventory by doing it like that. And I do think this is basically an inventory problem. I think that they had stored these bottles, they'd produced these new products that they were putting out, these water bottles, for their concerts. And when the concerts didn't happen because of Miss Rona, little Miss Rona coming in here destroying the world, they had a huge stock problem. <laughs> so now they're like, hey, let's just pop it off, sell it online, let's see if people will actually buy it. And the thing is, people are actually buying it on the Weaver shop, legit, Lads are buying this. Now, I'm not someone who's gonna spend money on this, all right? I buy the hats. This isn't an official hat. This is just a Hatu hat. I buy hats, I buy keychains. I buy all sorts of things occasionally. Here and there, we do bits and we get stuff. The second thing which is a bit confusing is BTS are super, and this is not a bash. I think genuinely this is because of a stock problem. They had too much inventory, and that's why they're in this situation where they're trying to just sell this stuff. But BTS is very, environment forward you know they say it in a lot of the stuff they they talk about when they give speeches and all that type of stuff but by having these like disposable bottles i'm not sure that's the best look honestly guys and it's probably not their decision but it's really not the best i'm pretty sure they actually do they do sell reusable water bottles and thermoses so this type of option doesn't really fit with their brand in some ways. And I'm not gonna lambast anyone for using a, a disposable water bottle, all right? I'm not a fan of paper straws. Paper straws can get in the bin. Plus when you actually get to the bottom of it, it's probably better you using a plastic straw from the stuff I've read. A metal straw might come out on top, but then there's the production of the metal straw, which takes more time and energy. I don't know what the best case scenario is in terms of straws, but paper straws can just get the hell out of it because they, they just turn into mush. It's really disgusting. When you start getting paper sediment in your drink, it might be you're drinking water, but why? Why is that the case? Also, another reason why I'm not really a fan of buying water in most cases, unless I'm out and, and, I've, and I've, unless I'm out and I actually need to, to drink something and that's what's there. You can just turn on the tap and get water whenever you want, guys, you know? British tap water is pretty good. It's not like poisonous or anything like that. So we're not living in parts of America or parts of most of the world where you can't drink the water coming out of your tap. So I'm not going to be buying this, but I do appreciate the hustle. I appreciate the effort. And there will indeed be a lot of people buying these cases. People will be illegally sending these across the world. I will tell you, people will be buying these all over the continents and getting them shipped to them. It's 100% going to happen. 
It just is. So hopefully Korean water is all good. I'm not sure what the situation is there because if it was all good, I'm sure they would have elected for worldwide shipping. Because when I saw this initially, I honestly thought it was a meme. I thought it was a joke because there was a clip which said, buy BCS water. And it said $21. <laughs> $21 a bottle. So I think that was kind of misconstrued and it was $21 for the 20 bottles, which is fine. A dollar a bottle is relatively okay, I guess. It's not like it's super overpriced. It's pretty standard pricing. Just quickly on the big hit IPO as well, kind of some shenanigans going on. The price doubled in the first day that it got put out there on the market and then the next day it seemingly dropped off like 70%. I did say, guys, to be clear, this is a very volatile stock. This is gonna do this. It's not like... Uh, you know, a super stable company in a lot of ways. I think they've done a good job to diversify a little bit with the way they, they make revenue and they get their income. But uh, I, I think that there are serious problems with the way the company is structured. And when a stock can jump 100% and drop 70% in the space of 24 hours, that's not really a good sign. It's probably because a lot of people bought the stock and saw, oh, wow, we're up like 60, 70, 80% and a ton of people, fans or whether it was like pension funds or other companies, they were selling the stock. And then the price just collapsed, like a 60% drop is just outright collapse, um, which is not which is not bueno. So hopefully there can be some stabilization in the price there. And maybe people will actually be able to gauge what the correct price is for the stock. But I think a lot of people don't really care about the fundamentals of the stock, i.e. how the company makes money, where it makes its money from, how much it pays in taxes, what its interest rates are and its loans, all these things are factors when valuing a company. And most people nowadays, especially day traders, which is fine, don't care about that stuff. And really in some ways they shouldn't because they're day traders, you know? You're not really gonna be looking at a company's internal workings if you're a day trader. If you're looking at stocks in long term, you're looking at months and months down the line, then I understand why you'd look at that stuff. But if you're day trading, eh, do what you want, have some fun. And uh, hopefully, hopefully this will teach some people about the general markets, how, how stuff works, and I think it could be a very positive thing, a learning experience for a lot of people when it comes to the international stock market. So, you know, whether people make money, whether people lose money, at least people will learn something. That sounds like I'm telling you, yeah, you'll lose money, but you know what, you had a good time doing it, and you bought a stock of your favorite company. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I really don't know. I'm unaware as to where this stock is gonna go. You know what, if military enlistment gets, gets done and dusted, if it goes away for BTS, the stock could just rise like 50%, just like that. Honestly, that's such a big factor here. Uh, so we'll find out soon enough. We will indeed. Anyway, guys, if you did enjoy this video, please like, share, comment, and subscribe to the channel down there. If you didn't, if you didn't, then Aquaman will come after you, right? Aquaman, you know, obviously this water shenanigans going on. Aquaman loves the water. He also doesn't like, you know, unrecyclable goods. He doesn't. It's one of his things nowadays. So. You really, you really don't want him coming after you, especially if you're using disposable water bottles. So just subscribe anyway to avoid that. Now, I've been Narendra the Comic. You've been Grant. I'll see you next time. That's tomorrow. If you don't know, make a video every single day. Yep, been doing it every day for over two years now. We stopping. What's that? No stopping till we get to 10,000 subscribers. So do subscribe. Pop back again tomorrow for some more quality shitty content because we're hashtag never not here. Just how it goes, boys. Just how it goes, lads, we're never not here. I know, it seems crazy. It seems unfathomable. But there will indeed be another video here tomorrow. It is like 11.30 right now, so I probably shouldn't be shouting as much as I am. But hey, I live on the edge. I risk, I risk a slap at any time of the day. I really do. So, see you tomorrow, because there will indeed be more bakwas here tomorrow. And if you don't know, bakwas means nonsense in Punjabi. And I always... I never, never fail to bring the bequas. See you tomorrow. Skadoosh. <laughs> <laughs>